Well, it could be a real breakthrough in the treatment of COVID-19, a common antidepressant which has been used for years. NBC4's IVE team first told you about this about two months ago, and since then it has generated a lot of questions from our viewers. Our investigative reporter Joel Grover followed up and found that the drug could soon play a critical role in helping COVID patients who haven't been vaccinated yet. I'm feeling great. I'm um like if nothing uh, ever happened. <laughs> this is Eduardo Valiz today, two months after we first met him when he was taking these pills as part of a clinical trial. Eduardo, an L.A. resident, was given the pills right after he developed mild symptoms of COVID, including a loss of taste. I knew I was, you know, I was eating something, I was drinking something, but it didn't taste like anything. Once you started taking the pills, your symptoms started to go away? Yes, yes, yes. Eduardo is in a clinical trial being conducted by researchers at Washington University in St. Louis, who are giving COVID patients either a placebo or the well-known antidepressant fluvoxamine which prevents inflammation in the body. Last year, in a first trial of just 150 COVID patients, none of those who took fluvoxamine got seriously ill. We're back. Then there were equally successful results when a COVID outbreak hit hundreds of workers at the Golden Gate Fields racetrack in the Bay Area. None of the workers who took fluvoxamine got seriously sick. Now researchers at Washington University are in the midst of a much larger trial of the drug. I believe that a larger trial is only going to hopefully um, give us some more push and more um, confirmation that fluvoxamine um, indeed um, is a promising option. Dr. Matar hopes to enroll 1,100 COVID patients in the current trial, but so far they've had only 400 volunteers. Even though we now have vaccines that are effective, drugs like this could still play an important role in fighting COVID? Absolutely. That is because there will be a small population who does not want to be vaccinated in the United States, at least. And then we don't have enough vaccines for everybody around the world. Eduardo Valiz likes to think he played a tiny role in helping COVID patients around the world. By participating in the trial, um, I was, you know, I was able to to be part of, uh, you know, finding the solution. Researchers are still looking for volunteers like Eduardo Valiz, but with the number of COVID cases dropping dramatically around the country, fewer and fewer people are now volunteering for these critical trials. For the I Team, I'm Joel Grover.